TensorFlow. Developed by Google, TensorFlow is one of the most popular frameworks for machine learning and deep learning. It's designed to build and train neural networks efficiently on CPUs, GPUs, and even TPUs. TensorFlow uses something called computational graphs, where every operation is represented as a node and edges represent data flow. This makes it powerful for scaling large models across multiple devices. It's also flexible. You can use high-level APIs like Keras for quick model building, or dive into the low-level graph operations for custom deep learning research. TensorFlow shines in production environments. Google uses it in products like Google Photos, Translate, and Assistant. PyTorch. PyTorch was developed by Facebook's AI Research Lab, and it's known for being more Pythonic and easier to experiment with. Unlike TensorFlow's static graphs, at least before TF 2.0, PyTorch uses dynamic computation graphs, meaning the graph is created on the fly as your code runs. This makes debugging, visualization, and model iteration much simpler. Researchers love PyTorch because it feels natural. It's just Python with tensor support. It also integrates tightly with tools like NumPy and supports GPU acceleration with minimal code. Today, PyTorch has become the go-to framework for AI research and modern LLM development. Keras. Keras actually started as a high-level API that ran on top of TensorFlow, Theano, or CNTK. It simplifies neural network creation by offering clean and minimal code syntax. Instead of worrying about tensor math and graph nodes, you just define layers, input, hidden, and output in a few lines. Today, Keras is fully integrated into TensorFlow, which means you can use all of TensorFlow's power through Keras's simplicity. If you're a beginner, Keras is one of the easiest entry points into deep learning. Scikit-learn. Scikit-learn is the go-to framework for traditional machine learning, not deep learning. It's built in Python and works beautifully with libraries like NumPy and Pandas. You can use it for regression, classification, clustering, dimensionality reduction, and model evaluation, all without GPUs. It's perfect for problems like spam detection, credit scoring, or recommendation systems where you don't need neural networks. Scikit-learn focuses on classical ML models such as decision trees, random forests, support vector machines, and k-means clustering. XGBoosts. XGBoost stands for Extreme Gradient Boosting. It's a high-performance framework for gradient-boosted decision trees. It's known for speed and accuracy. In fact, it's been used to win many Kaggle competitions. XGBoost uses a clever optimization system to minimize overfitting and runs efficiently on large datasets. It's mainly used for structured or tabular data, not images or text, and it can even be distributed across multiple machines for faster training. LightGBM, developed by Microsoft, LightGBM is similar to XGBoost, but focuses on even faster training using a method called histogram-based decision tree learning. It uses less memory, trains faster, and can handle very large datasets. LightGBM is great for tasks like ranking, classification, and regression in massive datasets, often used in fintech and recommendation systems. CatBoost. Developed by Yandex, CatBoost stands for Categorical Boosting. It's another gradient boosting library, but its advantage is that it handles categorical features automatically. You don't need to convert text or labels into numbers manually. It's super easy to use, fast, and often gives excellent performance out of the box. MXNet. MXNet is an open source deep learning framework known for flexibility and efficiency. It was actually the first deep learning framework officially supported by Amazon Web Services. MXNet allows both symbolic and imperative programming combining TensorFlow's graph efficiency with PyTorch's dynamic style. It's been used by companies like Amazon and Microsoft for large-scale AI workloads. JAX. JAX is Google's newer framework that's gaining a lot of attention. It's built for high-performance numerical computing and machine learning research. JAX is like NumPy on steroids. It lets you write NumPy code that runs efficiently on GPUs and TPUs. The real magic is in its automatic differentiation and function transformations meaning you can easily compute gradients and vectorize operations. JAX is becoming popular in the research community for training large models and experimenting with new architectures. Fast AI. Fast AI is built on top of PyTorch and is designed to make deep learning accessible to everyone. It abstracts away the complex parts of PyTorch and lets you train high-performing models with just a few lines of code. It's especially popular in education and fast prototyping. You can build image classifiers, text generators, or tabular models quickly, often without touching raw PyTorch tensors. Theano. Theano is one of the oldest deep learning frameworks. 
It was developed at University of Montreal and laid the foundation for many later frameworks, including Keras. It allowed fast mathematical computation on GPUs and introduced the idea of defining computation graphs. Although it's now discontinued, it remains a huge part of deep learning's history. CAFE CAFE was developed at UC Berkeley and was extremely popular for computer vision tasks before TensorFlow and PyTorch dominated. It's known for speed in image classification and recognition, thanks to its efficient C++ backend. CAFE models were widely used in early image recognition research, but it's now mostly replaced by newer, more flexible frameworks.